Hold on, let me turn it down, y'all. And I turn it up. Hello, welcome back to Beyond Say. I am Saison, aka Say. So today we are going to be talking about a concert that I went to recently. And one of the artists was Chris Brown, even though she's great playing. Hey. Oh, okay. Okay, let me turn it down. So this is this song is No Guidance, Chris Brown featuring Drake. Um, okay, so the concert that I went to had several different artists. It was in ATL, Atlanta. Um, Chris Brown was one of the artists. And I don't know whether I should start with Chris Brown first or like do like how it was. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do it how it was. Okay, so the concert started at like five and ended at maybe like eleven. Um and I didn't get there until like seven o'clock because <laughs> I had to go to a baby shower. Congratulations today. Um, and I missed probably like a bunch of artists, but it was like artists that I didn't really, really care about that much. So I was like, whatever. Um, but when I got there, the first artist that I saw was T.I. And honestly, T.I. was like probably the best performer there. Like, um... I'll start off by saying that we had got line seats. Normally, we get, like, regular seats, but we were trying to be cheap. And uh, that was a mistake because, it like, it was raining all day. The The ground was wet, y'all. It was just terrible. But I had bought, like, a lawn chair. I get to the concert or the festival, and they're like, you can't bring in your chair. And I'm like, no, nah, it's, it's under nine just what you talking about they're like no this is a tall like this is a tall line chair you need you need like a beach chair and i'm like so i just i just wasted money mind y'all i had drove like an hour and a half um from the baby shower to like to go to like some walmart by clayton state university it was like in the hood <laughs> and i and then when i walked into walmart this guy was trying to holler me talking about, hey shawty i'm like i'm on the phone I am on the phone. Like, don't bother me. <laughs> like, I walked around that store for like 20 minutes looking for the chair. And then I had to get some ponchos. The ponchos was all the way in the back. All of the cheap ponchos was basically gone. And then I was like, that ain't even going to do anything if it really rained hard. So there's no point. So I got ponchos, got the chair, went to the concert, went to the festival riding around trying to find parking they were trying to charge twenty dollars for parking forty dollars for parking i was like y'all have got to be out of y'all mind i'll leave my car well no I, I, I won't leave my car somewhere thankfully i found some parking for ten dollars and um i parked over there and i was like y'all was struggling trying to get the chair the ponchos my little bag everything thankfully the people was nice even though um I had to ride in the car with this guy to get to the concert and he had a gun in his he had a gun in the in the um cup holder and i was like this is how y'all do it he was like yeah we trap foot security trap foot. i'm like this is a whole different type of security than i'm i'm used to in atlanta georgia this i'm not used to this at all so get there walk up get told i can't keep my chair they was like, either you can take your chair back to your car or you go put it in the bushes. So I put it in the bushes. I was like, I'm never going to see this chair again. I already know. So get there. T.I. performing. Probably one of the best performers, to be honest with y'all, based off of what I saw from the rest of the night. Um, he performed a few of his songs. Like, yeah, go T.I., go T.I. Even though, like, you know, I wasn't, like, intoxicated or anything. I was like, yeah, T.I., uh-huh. The whole time we like man this this seating is questionable because like i said the floor the ground was wet all you smelled was marijuana in the air it's just it was like a haze of just, just smoke and then cigarette smoke because of this woman sitting next to us it was smoking her cigarette and live streaming the the festival the whole time why i don't know because i'm like it's not that serious like you really like she was like doing all of that i'm like girl they wanted to come they should have came like what you why are you why are you live streaming the whole she when i tell you she did this the whole time the whole time i was like good lord 
And then it was these girls that ended up coming in front of us and they couldn't dance to save their life. Poor things. They was like doing, I don't even know, just too much. They needed to sit down and they would not sit down. They was just, they was just having a good time. They were just having a great time. So it was T.I., then Trey Songs, and Trey Songs was terrible. He was, Trey Songs was really, really bad. Like, first of all, they set him up for failure when he came out because his mic wasn't working. So he, and they, and nothing's coming out. Then when they turn on his mic, maybe they should have kept it off because like he was struggling. And I love me some Trey Songs. Like I, you know, I like Invented Sex, Jupiter Love everything i'm like i am here for it i was actually excited to see trey songs i he i don't know i was i was disappointed he was he ooh, ooh, no no don't do it never again i was like i won't i don't think i'll pay to see trey songs um who else was it 50 cent 50 cent needed a cough drop or some tea with honey Cause man, homeboy came out in the you know the the puffy bread jacket, just <laughs> sounding terrible. I was like, "Fifty cough," and I can't talk because sometimes my voice gets raspy. But sir, I am not a musician, and I don't got the money that you got. Since you talking about you be lending money to everybody, so you need to get that checked out. Cause he sounded terrible. Like he sounded like really like he wasn't feeling well at all. To the point where one of my friends, she was like, who is that? Is that the DJ on the mic? I was like, that's 50 Cent. That's, <laughs> that's him. Like, that's him sounding that bad. And who else was it? Kendrick Lamar came out. Kendrick Lamar's set was straight. It was just like, you could barely see him. And true enough, like, um, we, like I said, we had lawn seats. So it wasn't where it needed to be at. But still, I was kind of like, you know, his his was decent. I would pay to see Kendrick Lamar, but it would have to be him and like another artist too. Um, but his was his was decent. I'm not knocking Kendrick. I like Kendrick Lamar. I realize there's some songs that I really just don't know from him, which was unfortunate. Like I said in my other concert video, you always gotta be prepared um uh, whenever you're listening to an artist. And who else was it? I'm trying to think. The D, well, while I'm thinking, the DJ was, like, terrible. Like, he did not know how to play music to get people, like, hype at all. Like, at all. Like, I was like, sir, what are you doing? I'm gonna need for you to play something better than what you're playing if you're trying to get the crowd excited. Because it's like, y'all ready for Chris Brown? And then we'll play, like, and I like this song, but he played, like, a song, like, like slow. Like, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? Like, can we get something upbeat that make us want to get excited for Chris Brown? So, Chris Brown came out. And by then, I was already ready to go. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I was kind of like, I could have not seen Chris Brown, honestly. But I'm like, you know, I paid for the ticket. We're here. Let's see some Chris Brown. I'm like, who is that outside? Let's see some Chris Brown. Chris Brown come out. And it ain't even all that. And I was, like, disappointed. And I don't know whether it was because, like, it's, like, a a set. So, you know, each artist gets, like, a certain time frame to perform or what. But it was just kind of, like, it was kind of bland. And um, I wouldn't want to go see him in concert. Like, it was just, it was just okay. Like, it was just okay performance. Compared to other artists that I've seen, and I know, like, Chris Brown is, like, legit, like, an artist. Like, you know, he performs, he performs. This, it was just like, you know, him up there dancing with people. Then they had like a swimming pool with balls that it was hitting around. I was kind of like, what y'all got going on? Then it started sprinkling. And I'm like, I am ready to go. My ass is wet. Like, <laughs> from sitting like on these wet towels. Because thankfully my friend, she got towels. Appreciate you. But I was like, damn, I wish I had my chair because my booty was wet. And I, by then, I was just over. I was like, you know, I don't even, like, I kind of wish I would have been like, y'all ready to go earlier? But I didn't. So then when we're leaving, then they're like, y'all ready to see Lil Duval come out? And I'm like, why do they have Lil Duval in in the whole show? Like, I like Lil Duval. But I'm like, why do y'all have him in in the whole show? That makes no sense at all. And I might insert, like, clips throughout that we all can see stuff. Or either I'll make a video 
from what I have um, and put it on here. But like they would not play Lil Duval's music. Like he was like, y'all, y'all play my music. They was not playing his music. And I'm like, how y'all gonna do this man like that? First, y'all set him up for failure by having him come out, out after Chris Brown. Secondly, you don't even want to play his music. Like, what y'all got going on, Atlanta? Then, we're leaving. And people about to hit each other. Um, getting into it in the parking lot. Like, these one girls, they was both backing out. And it's one girl popped her head up. What the fuck are you doing? She's like, what the fuck are you doing? I'm backing out. Like, <laughs> so I'm like, ooh. Okay, let's not get hit. Let's 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 not like you know let's let's maneuver. So we zigzagging. Then y'all, I couldn't I almost couldn't find my car. I did not have my glasses on. I got contacts in right now, but I did not have my glasses on, and I was I felt like I was about blind. It was dark, and I'm like, you know, we they didn't my friend and her cousin they didn't ride with me, so it was all on me. And, um, I'm, <laughs> I'm walking. I'm like, ooh, I don't, I don't know if that looks familiar. Or we done walked up and I'm like, I don't know if we going the right way to my car. I'm like, y'all just stay right here real quick. So that way I can see it. They, they didn't want to stay. So then we walked. I'm like, yeah, no, nah, I didn't park right there. Thankfully, my phone was Captain save -a because <laughs> it had my, um, car marked on it. So I was like. Thank you, Lord Jesus, because I don't need to not, to lose my car in Atlanta, Georgia, at all places. That would be just absolutely terrible. So we walked up, get get to the vehicle, we go home, and that was the end of the night. And I just learned a valuable lesson. Do not get lawn seats if you are accustomed to other seating. For concerts because you will feel like you made a terrible mistake you should have just pay what you wanted to pay pay what you normally pay for a ticket but then I'm like I'm curious whether if we would have been sitting 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 in normal seats would it have made a difference or not because like I don't know the the scenery and the atmosphere like I liked it but then at the same time I didn't and I don't know whether it was because of where I was sitting at or what um, but yeah, I wouldn't get line seats unless I just knew for sure that it wasn't going to rain and it probably brought them like the day of, like a just spur of the moment type concert. But otherwise I'm like, should have went to Ariana, Grande, Ariana Grande's concert. Speaking of. Oh, now y'all don't want to turn it. This thing is so silly. See, should have went to her concert. It's like she knew. But... I just wanted to share that with you guys. I hope you enjoyed my story time of not having the best experience at a Chris Brown and Kendrick Lamar concert. Um, and I'll probably be making more videos like this. Um, make sure you comment down below more things that you want to see from me. Um, check out the other recent videos that I've uploaded. I'm trying to get you guys. I said in my morning vibes video on monday that i want to make at least like three videos for y'all and we're already on video four for the week so that's a good sign um this week i should kind of get it set up that way i can get a schedule set up for you guys so that way you know when i'm uploading um but i do hope that you enjoyed the video once again don't forget to like comment down below and subscribe and i will talk to y'all later have a good night